How can a French guy with a personal blog from the 2000s lead a team of scientists who created the most advanced AI LLM in the world? Jan Lecun, who needed a Nobel Prize winner to decipher the correct pronunciation of his name, is Meta's vice president and chief AI scientist. Besides winning the French Legion of Honor and the Turing Awards as a side quest, he's the mastermind who built Meta's Llama 3. And this new AI is trampling the AI competition in terms of both speed and performance. And it all goes back to the humble beginning of something called Llama, or Large Language Model Meta AI. Try saying that three times in a row. After ChatGPT was released on November 30th, 2022, Jan thought, hey, these things called large language models or LLMs can help people write faster. He brought the idea to good old Zuck and he said FAIR. He didn't mean something that's actually FAIR, it's actually an abbreviation that stands for Fundamental AI Research Team. These dudes were tasked with pushing AI's boundaries and creating models that would be more powerful than any LLM available to the general public and Jan was their leader. A little known fact about Lecun is that he became the first director of Meta AI Research way back in December 2013. So by the time the FAIR team was established, this computer scientist had become a machine learning veteran at Meta. Finally, on February 24th, 2023, less than four months after ChatGPT was released, Meta introduced Llama. It was a revolutionary autoregressive LLM, which was released in four sizes. 7B, 13B, 33B, and 65B parameters. The team also saw this as an opportunity to capitalize on the trend of LLMs and natural language processing, or NLP, with the potential to bring AI to billions of people across the world. Even though Llama 65B, the most powerful model, was trained at 1.4 trillion tokens, which are pieces of words and four tokens equals three words, the model still failed to get the needed attention from the public. That's when Meta decided to smash that like button. Just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, that's when Meta decided to update Llama and release Llama 2. But this time, everything was different, or so they thought. Llama 2 was introduced on July 18th, 2023, just a couple of months after Meta released their first AI model. The next generation of Llama was built in collaboration with Microsoft, a long-standing partner of Meta AI. Instead of OpenAI's closed approach, Meta AI made Llama 2 available to the public. By giving access to businesses, startups, and entrepreneurs across the globe, Meta AI believes they are giving individuals the power to experiment with systems that they otherwise couldn't. And Llama 2 packed a powerful punch. They trimmed down on sizes, and there were only three model sizes or parameters. 3B, 13B, and 70B. All of them were pre-trained with two trillion tokens, and they had double the context length compared to Llama 1. On top of that, the fine-tuned models of Llama 2 were trained on more than one million human preferences. And even though Llama 2 models blew competitors like MPT and Falcon from the water in terms of performance, the public still wasn't biting. The FAIR team knew they had to do something. So in the next couple of months, they put their heads together and on April 18th, 2024, Llama 3 hit the market. Talking to Lex Freeman, Jan LeCun, and Mark Zuckerberg kept the project secret from everyone else. The interview was released in March and the public was oblivious to what Meta was cooking. Eventually, they released a new model and it packs a serious punch. Right now, you can go to ai.meta.com and download the Llama 3, the brand new open source LLM developed by Meta AI. There are currently two models, an 8B and a 70B version, and they will be available on AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Databricks, Kaggle, Hugging Face, NVIDIA NIM, and Snowflake. Major hardware providers like Dell, NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, Qualcomm, and AWS will support all models. The Meta Llama 3 Instruct model outperforms similar competitors like Gemma or Gemma, depending on where you're from, 7B, and Mistral 7B. The superior Meta Llama 3 70B outperformed Gemini Pro and Claude 3 in the same benchmarks. So, in a way, Meta is redefining AI tools in terms of both speed and performance. When compared to Claude Sonnet, Mistral Medium, GPT 3.5, and Meta Llama 2, Llama 3 Instruct had a win rate of between 50%
and 65% when performing human evaluation. In fact, speaking with an interviewer, Mark Zuckerberg said that Meta's Llama 3 8B is as powerful as their largest Llama 2 70B. And surprisingly, Llama 3 70B was still learning even after finishing its training 15 trillion tokens. If you go to Meta AI and live in the US, Western Europe, and some of the Asia Pacific regions, you can test Llama 3. According to the website, the new Llama AI is good with text, video, and helping students with their homework, but there are two things Llama 3 is exceptional at. The first is math, and the second is code. And here's how you could test both. All you have to do is give it a simple prompt, like write the game Snake in Python, and Llama 3 will write the entire Python code needed to run a simple game like Snake. If you copy the code, go to Visual Studio Code and paste what Llama 3 wrote in a matter of seconds, then you'd be able to play a perfect game of Snake. The best thing about Meta's new AI model is its speed. It can write over 100 tokens of text per second, which is quite fast compared to other AI models. If you ask Llama the infamous killer's dilemma and say, there are three killers in a room, someone enters the room and kills one of them, nobody leaves the room. How many killers are left in the room? Explain your reasoning step by step. Interestingly, Llama 3 passes with flying colors. It realizes that there are still three killers in the room and it could generate logical instructions explaining why it thinks that. When it comes to math problems, Llama 3 is great, but not exceptional. Even though they can solve problems quickly, they are not always correct. For example, if you give it a random SAT math question, the answer might not be correct, but then again, it might get it exactly right. Now, if you ask me, the coolest feature of Meta's AI is its ability to generate images from simple prompts. The feature is called Imagine. And if you notice, the model will start generating images as you type. It doesn't even wait for you to finish typing. Now, it doesn't do well with highly detailed prompts, but it's exceptional with short ones. And let's not forget, it's lightning fast and free. Plus, a cool thing is you can animate the image with the click of a button. Thankfully, Meta made sure to include a non-removable watermark telling people the GIF is AI generated. However, Meta might be changing their open source course in the next few years. When a reporter asked Zuckerberg if they would continue producing open source models, the CEO replied that they would do it only if aligned with Meta's overall strategy. After all, they need to focus their GPU power on other means. When Lex Friedman asked Jan LeCun about the future of Llama, he said, There's going to be like various versions of, of Llama that are, uh, you know, improvements. But that's the near future. Eventually, LeCun is looking to create an LLM that could understand the world around them and plan accordingly. And Meta is planning to do this using something called VGPA. VGPA or VJEPA stands for the Video Joint Embedding Predictive Architecture, and Meta dubbed it the next step toward Jan LeCun's vision of advanced machine intelligence. But in simple terms, it's just allowing artificial intelligence to understand the world around it from video footage. VJPA is pre trained on video data. Similar to how babies learn from watching their parents, the new AI models would learn from observing and analyzing video footage that's already out there. With only a few examples, VJPA can learn new concepts and solve complex tasks. Unlike other models, this one is non-generative. If you mask a part of a video, VJPA will recreate it without a problem. Just like Llama 3, VJPA is going to be released publicly, so AI enthusiasts from all over the world can help build an AI model that can understand the world around it, reason, plan, and predict scenarios, bringing us one step closer to AGI. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence one video at a time. 